Good afternoon. We are here with Dale um, from Village Health Works in Burundi. He's going to tell us about what he does and his journey. Uh, thank you. It's very nice uh, meeting you. Uh, I am uh, uh, Dale Gracias, but everyone calls me Dale. It um, tell, us, tell us a little bit about your transition back home and what inspired you to start your organization. What inspired us to start a village of works was based on a need and to bring a decency, honor human dignity when it has been lost. It was important for me to mobilize community members, work with them, those who were suffering. I think what I have learned from that is that our poor community members have been marginalized. They know so much, but they have never been given the opportunity to be asked, what can we do to get issues? We started putting ideas together, community members have donated the land, mm -hmm. which is the only commodity they have. Mm -hmm. Not only that, there are all these women and the men and the children who started making bricks and digging stones and the let the foundation. So the community literally the community, built the foundation. The um, I was staying in a tent in the bushes where we were doing construction and it was the, the most rewarding beautiful experience in my life. To see people who were known by the outside world as enemies, nothing beyond that, come together to do something constructive. And that, that was something that told me what I did. So we started and we've uh, uh, we seen 25,000 people a year. Wow. We have uh, uh, 150 community health workers who go into our community members to look for people who are sick or mothers who may be pregnant so that they can be seen before they are in big trouble. Mm -hmm. They are well trained. We have uh, 150 uh, 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 people who are training community members in agriculture. We started with agriculture co-ops, we integrated education programs, even the music and the arts. So uh, all together we have 350 plus employees in Burundi. All Burundians. We want to know um, some of the challenges you faced because it must have not been easy in the early days. What, what were some personal challenges you faced um, when you embarked on this? There were many expected and uh, unexpected challenges. The expected challenges, here I went to Burundi with an idea, with a big vision, but with no money. Mm -hmm. And I also knew that Burundi was off the map. It was a country where everyone who knew something about Burundi was a country where people kill each other, nothing else. And so it was very difficult for me to get support that would go to do something and to help you know, us accomplish what we want to, to accomplish in Burundi. Uh, the unexpected challenges were how I would bring people together. That was uh, very difficult. I think I had forgotten how we have so much self-hatred and, uh, and uh, I didn't expect that and uh, no one believed that we could actually build something that we have right now mm -hmm. and uh, that challenge was uh, painful for me on uh, a few occasions I said to myself what the heck was I thinking when I got myself into this but then what kept me there was to look into the faces of people who were suffering so much and still very hard. What's the next step? The next step is to build a teaching hospital. We just uh, uh, we've been campaigning to build the first women's health pavilion in the world. It's a 120 bed hospital. Mm -hmm. We are also linking health and education. We are building an academy in that village, mm -hmm. a, a model school that will train the future leaders. Uh, Facebook, 
Twitter. What's their name? Is it Village Health Work? It's on me. all three. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so you can follow Village Health Work at Village Health Work on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Caro